um, we don't hold data on U.S. citizens. Um, you know, I think one of the things from my perspective that is grossly misreported is everybody says uh, you're going to grab all the emails and you're going to stick them down, all the U.S. emails, and put them down in some place in the United States. One, we don't do that. I believe it is in the nation's best interest to put all the phone records into a lockbox that we could search when the nation needs to do it. Yes. Man, that guy should just wish for a pot of gold because he just speaks things into existence. This story is breaking on Infowars.com. The CIA-funded software company manages the private data for healthcare.gov. <laughs> That's right. In QTEL, the CIA's venture capital firm invested heavily in Socrata, the software company who provides data collection and management for healthcare.gov and medicare.gov. Through a press release, Socrata announced that the two entities will work together to further develop Socrata's data consumerization platform for internal business analysts and data-rich organizations. They added that users of Socrata's technologies can transform raw data from multiple sources into more sophisticated and useful resources. In other words, Socrata will work with the CIA and other intelligence agencies to transform raw data into a format that's easily utilized and accessible to the intelligence community. Healthcare.gov captures the personal data provided during the Obamacare enrollment process for this spy grid database. Does the NSA collect any type of data at all on millions or hundreds of millions of Americans? No, sir. It does not? Not wittingly. There are cases where they could in inadvertently, perhaps, uh, collect, but not, not wittingly. Right. Nope, nope, they definitely, definitely spy on Americans. And what is certain to aggravate our foreign allies even further they're spying on them as well. A confidential memo that's leaked by Edward Snowden reveals that the NSA monitored calls of 35 world leaders after a U.S. official handed over his contacts. The NSA encourages senior officials in its customer departments, such as the White House, the state, and the Pentagon, to share their Rolodexes so the agency can add the phone numbers of leading foreign politicians, to their surveillance systems. Well, in response to all the spying and the blatant lying by the NSA, the BRICS countries are just going to build their own internet. Brazil is set to finalize a 34,000 kilometer undersea fiber optic cable by 2015 that will run from Russia to Brazil via China, India, and Cape Town, South Africa. The project will create a network free of US eavesdropping. However, some privacy experts fear that this will do little to stop the NSA, given that it has tapped undersea cables since the Cold War era. 